In South Africa, we're used to the government making wrong decisions, illogical, irrational decisions that just quite frankly seem insane. But that's not what this morning's story is about. This morning, it's the chance of the American authorities to show us their ability in making wrong, insane, and illogical decisions. The SEC has declared war on cryptocurrencies. It's like Gary Gensler is playing some type of sick, twisted chess game on the crypto markets. We're going to be looking at that in this morning's video. Good morning, everybody. Now, before we get into that, let's just have a quick look at the market so that we can see what's happening. As you can see, we've got Bitcoin holding out, in my opinion, really well after all the news in the marketplace, trading at $21,750 odd dollars. We've got Ethereum that has dropped to $1,503 US dollars. Binance USD, which is going to be important because we're talking about it a bit later in this video, is still holding up nicely, just slightly under $1 per coin. So let's look at what has happened in the marketplace and what has caused this dip in cryptocurrencies over the last little bit. So Kraken will stop offering US crypto staking and pay a 30 million penalty after settling with the SEC. Okay, so I have really given this story a lot of thought and it is absolutely insane. And I want to just point out a couple of points here. So Kraken, a very well respected and trusted exchange, is sitting with a lot of their clients' coins. And they realize that a lot of these coins they can stake and earn rewards on. Now the staking of these coins comes with almost none but very little risk because they are able to keep the coins and stake them and earn rewards. So what Kraken does is it says to its customers, you know what, as a company, as a centralized exchange, we are not going to keep all these rewards. We want to give these rewards to the people. We want to give the rewards to our clients. Seems logical to me. In fact, it seems like an awesome service, especially if your coins are going to be sitting on the exchange anyway, and Kraken's going to be earning rewards. Why wouldn't they share the rewards with their customers? <clears throat> seems logical, seems fair. Now the SEC come in and say, no, we are stopping our American citizens from earning these rewards because uh, Kraken did not register, they did not apply. And we'll get back to that a little bit later in this video. So they also impose a $30 million penalty on Kraken and Staking is stopped for all Americans. Now, I have a couple of problems with this. First of all, if you are staking coins as Kraken is, you can't end that staking instantly, so they will continue to get the rewards. Now, they are by law not allowed to pass those rewards on to their customers who actually deserve the rewards. So that, to me, just doesn't make sense. Like, illogical decision. But they have to pay the SEC $30 million fine. Oh, I wonder where that money is coming from. Could it possibly be coming from the staking rewards that they are unable to immediately unstake on behalf of their clients, especially if their clients are, uh, have staked Ethereum? And we all know that you cannot unstake your Ethereum um, at the moment. So could it possibly be some of those rewards will go to paying the 30 million US dollar fine? And if so, are they paying the fine with their clients' funds? Kraken, as you can see, is now in a really tricky situation because they're not allowed to give their clients the funds that they are earning on their clients' um, staking. So the problem with this also is that there is absolutely no clarity on regulation. So we've got companies like Kraken that are self-regulated and are working within the uh, regulatory framework that is out there, and they are trying to make the best possible decisions. And Kraken's history as an exchange has been impeccable. They have put out proof of reserve, they have done a lot of things, and they have tried to always do right by their customers. So they decide that they're going to give the rewards to their customers, but the SEC decide, no, 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 this is not right. Then the SEC, despite the lack of regulation, where it is almost possible to actually go to the authorities and to apply for these staking products, come out and say, Kraken didn't apply, and that's why they are taking this action. 
And that is absolutely insane because as an exchange, I know dealing with authorities where there's limited regulation, they will not give you any type of answer. So in other words, they will not give you a negative answer. They will not give you a positive answer because they know somewhere down the line, they could be held to anything that they put in writing or anything that they make official. So Kraken is in a situation where there is no regulation. They cannot get clarity. They cannot approach the government. They cannot approach the SEC. Um, and it's muddy waters. But Gary Gensler comes out and I'm going to play you a short clip because he goes on to television to explain how he's protecting the investor. He's protecting the retail investor. Now, what is he protecting the retail investor from? From earning rewards? From making money? I mean, it's, it's crazy that Americans are now going to be protected from becoming wealthy. Maybe if they had too much money, they wouldn't know what to do with it. So make sure that the retail investor is kept down, the man on the street is kept down, protect them from having the ability to earn money. But anyway, I digress. Let's go back to Gary Gensler and what he says to Kraken and why they've taken this uh, action. These firms, Kraken knew how to register, others know how to register. It's just a form on our website. They can come in, talk to our talented people and disclosure review teams. And if they wanna offer staking, we're neutral. Come in, register, because investors need that disclosure. What are you doing with it? Okay, so the point here is that they don't really have a problem with what Kraken is doing. They just have a problem with the fact that they didn't register. And as we've just discussed, it's really impossible to register. Now, Jesse Powell, the CEO of Kraken, he put an amazing response. I thought it was very funny and very apt. He put a response on Twitter. And I'd like to take a second to read that to you. Oh man, all I had to do was fill out a form on a website and tell people that staking rewards came from staking. Wish I'd seen this video before paying the $30 million fine and agreeing to permanently shut down the service in the US. How dumb do I look? Gosh. Now, that's tongue in cheek. That's a stab at them saying, guys, like, you know, this is just absolutely insane. Now, going back to what I was saying about uh, the American authorities protecting the American citizens from the ability to make money, which <laughs> that's certainly not the type of protection I'd like to get. I'd like to just put a scenario forward to you. Let's say that you were battling to make ends meet and, you know, COVID has hit. There's been a lot of things that have happened. And over the last couple of months, you've set up a situation where staking is really assisting you to feed your family, assisting you to keep your kids in school and assisting you to make ends meet. And you have spent a lot of time, effort and energy building up capital so that you could claim your staking rewards on a monthly basis and feed your family. All of a sudden, without any warning, that income stream is now cut off to you as an American citizen. You've done nothing wrong. In fact, you've worked hard to provide for your family. How would that sit? if you now all of a sudden didn't have that income. And this is all done in the name of protecting the retail investor, protecting the man on the street. I'm going to leave it at that because I think that I've highlighted how insane and how illogical these decisions are. And it's just blatant that the American government, the SEC, has declared war on crypto. And the way that they are tackling it seems insane. Now that brings about the question that if you're an altcoin trader client, we also offer rewards on your cryptocurrencies. So for example, you can see that uh, on your South African Tether, you're getting 5%. On Tron, you're getting 4.3%. And the list goes on. You're getting paid on your uh, Cardano, your ADA, your Matic, and your Binance coin. And we have a lot of people that are earning money on a monthly basis because they're holding their coins and they're staking and they're earning rewards. And I hope that the South African government doesn't follow suit and do something as crazy as what the Americans have done. I hope that our government doesn't come in and protect the retail investor from earning money, protect the man on the street from actually making money to feed his family. But anyway, something that we have got our eyes on, we are slightly concerned about, and we're hoping that we won't run into a similar situation. The second story 
for today and to continue with the theme that the SEC is playing some type of sick twisted chess game and is, has, is having a war on crypto. Is the SEC lawsuit against Paxos over BSUD, BSU, BUSD? Okay, so that is a stable coin that is issued by Paxos. It's licensed by Binance. A lot of people think that Binance actually, um, uh, you know, secure that coin one to one with the US dollar, but that's not true. It is Paxos, which is a regulated American company in New York, which is one of the most highly regulated. Um, areas for crypto in the United States. So this lawsuit, it, they have ordered Paxos to stop minting BUSD, right? And, and it also just seems insane, like claiming that it's a security. And that is in itself baffling because the how we test, which is coming again on, uh, you know, we're seeing it all over social media, means it's an investment of money. Uh, in a common enterprise, okay, so we could tick that, we could tick that with the expectation of profit. Uh, we can't tick that. That is absolutely insane. A stable coin is one to one. There is no expectation in prof um, for profit. In fact, it is clearly stated that you will not be getting profit to, de be, to be derived from the effort of others. No, there's no effort from others. It's simply a token. It's simply a voucher. It's a stable coin. So, I think the SEC have got a lot to answer for, and they've got a lot of explaining to do as to why they are banning a stable coin. As I said, going back to some sick, twisted chess game, it makes no sense. Um, and then just finally, in closing, where was the SEC when people were really losing money? When people needed to be protected from FTX? You know where they were? They were meeting with FTX. They were talking to FTX right under their noses. What about the accountability for that? Where is the SEC accountability for that massive, massive mistake they made? And yet they are brazen enough to go and continue with random chaos. Where was the SEC when Luna uh, failed and millions of people lost billions of US dollars? They were nowhere to be seen. Instead of targeting the projects that the crypto the community is highlighting to them and saying, guys, look, we can help you. We can help you to protect us. No, they're randomly going off on projects that make absolutely no sense. So guys, that's my rant for this morning. That's my sort of reprieve for the South African government. You guys aren't the only ones who make crazy, illogical decisions. The Americans are challenging you. Anyway, if you like my video, if you like my content, I'd ask you to hit the like button, subscribe. That's it from me. I'm out.